Hi, John Spark here from Travel with Purpose. And uh, today I'm really, really excited about sharing with you for the first time I've ever done this, a, a webinar with uh, Abercrombie and Kent and Kate Hudson, who's just sitting not too far away from me. Well, if not far away, she's actually in Melbourne, <laughs> is going to be our guest. So let me see if I can get Kate on screen. Say hello, Kate. Hello, everyone. Hello, great. Now, I'm just playing around here. I'm not actually used this software very many times before, so I'm going to take you off, give a little introduction, and let's see what happens. Okay, first of all, who's this aimed at? What we're doing here is something we've been doing for many, many years, and it actually started oh, probably 22, 23 years ago when we did a presentation in our office and I asked people at the end of the presentation, I said to them, what did you like about it? And I, I still remember clearly to this day, uh, the accountant walking up to me and saying, John, the thing I loved about it is that even though I'm not ready to travel on this trip right now, I loved the fact that you were educating us to travel possibilities in the future. Something to aim for, something to put on my bucket list and something to aspire to. And you know what, he said, even if I never do it, I just really enjoyed the whole presentation around what's possible in that case, it was a, a Grand Pacific tour in New Zealand. And uh, our next step from that was obviously to keep doing those, but our next office, we built a custom built presentation area and on average would get 25, 30 people in here. Some nights we've had to do two sessions. Uh, people were so interested in it. And of course, here we are now with modern technology and we're sitting there going well you know why do people even have to come into our office and you know like if you're sitting in melbourne or sydney or perth or anywhere away from albany you're going to be uh, struggling to get to our office for a presentation so along comes the software called uh webinars and here we are now about to recreate what we create in our office minus the fact that you're not sitting here but uh, you can ask questions and if you type them into the little box on the right hand side here, somebody will get back to you, one of my team or myself in the next 24 hours. So the name Travel With Purpose, I think it ties in very much with Abercrombie and Kent, which uh, started 56 years ago, but with Travel With Purpose, that name's only three years old, uh, even though we've been in business for 34 years as Jet Set Travel prior to that. And uh, when we got out of that network due to uh, major changes within that network, we chose the name Travel With Purpose. It took us about a year to come up with it. And the reason we came up with it is that to us, travel is far more than just going on a holiday. I mean, it's great to go on a holiday, but you, know, you often will find you're going because you, know, you are asked to by the doctor, you feel you need to reconnect with family, partner, uh, or you want to experience something. So it has a purpose, hence the name Travel With Purpose. And what we're doing now is uh, embarking on the next phase of where the Travel With Purpose is. And we're looking for the types of holidays and travel experiences that do far more for you than just give you a holiday. Because, you know, there's one thing I can guarantee you, nobody knows when this is their last trip or not. As sad as that might sound, it's just a reality of life. If your finances can change, health can change, and other circumstances can impact it. And so if you do a trip, then we like to try and help you get the most out of it and have it more or less like a nice bottle of red wine, to be honest, where it sits there and it will ferment and get better and age with time. And if this is the last trip you ever do, then I can assure you, it will get better with time as you reflect back on those wonderful occasions, the learnings, how it impacted you. So that's the Travel With Purpose story. I'm going to cut over to Kate now and get her to share the Abercrombie and Kent story because it is, is fascinating in its own right. The style of holiday, I've got to be right up front, isn't suited to everybody. But if you never do one of these holidays, I can promise you I've gone through the images Kate's sharing now and you're going to be mesmerized and enthralled by them. So Kate, I'm going to turn it over to you and let's start sharing first of all what travel, what Abercrombie and Kent stands for, how it started, who it might suit, and then let's dive in and explore a bit more and uh take it from that there, shall we? Sounds good to me. Are you able to share my screen? 
Yes, I am. I've got you on there now, so I'm going to cut over to your Thank slides. Thank you. You have Okay, the fabulous. Well, um, it's lovely to meet you all interactively. Um, I'm sat here in Melbourne at the moment. It's a beautiful day. Um, and this is the first time I've done one of these live webinars before um, as well. So this is definitely an experience. I'm um, excited to share it with you. Um, John invited me to join you all today um, to talk a little bit about what makes Abercrombie and Kent a bit different. We're quite special um, and I guess quite specialised as well. So um, we're going to have a little um, explore of the Abercrombie and Kent portfolio. Um, and, um, you know, I'm pleased to be um, sort of presenting to you today. So um, I think it's quite important to... Um, understand the longevity of the um, the business. So we've been around for 50 years and our roots are very firmly fixed in Africa. Um, the founder of um, Abercrombie and Kent um, was a little boy in the driving seat there, Jeffrey Kent. He, um, he grew up in Kenya. Um, his family had a farm there. And um, as children, he um, his uh, parents used to take the children uh, camping. And that's where, um, you know, sort of camp the camping in style um, really originated from. Um, so they would go out into the bush and um, construct these amazing tents. They'd have proper beds in them. Um, they'd take the, the silver with them and the porcelain. Um, and there was definitely a little bit more style than just camping. Um, and, you know, amazing experiences. So as I'm sure you can imagine, this um, led um, Jeffrey to being quite an adventurous young man. Um, and really, um, I suppose Abercrombie and Kent formed um, off that basis of adventure and luxury. Um, and that's where the whole concept of our style of traveller um, kind of uh, originated. Um, and this is what we're best known for now, extraordinary luxury um, in often far flung places, but also in, um, you know, sort of bucket list destinations like India and China, um, as well as um, the African um, bush. So it's a little bit different these days. <laughs> that is actually a tented um, camp that we um, that is in the A&K portfolio. It's rather beautiful. Wow, that's a tent, is it? That is a tent, yeah. It's, ca it's got canvas walls um, and um, that beautiful four-poster bed. <laughs> that's uh, certainly doing it in style. Rather wow. special, huh? <laughs> Hard to believe it's a tent. So I guess when you say luxury, this is luxury. So when you look at this, uh, when you look at A&K, is uh, A and K who, who's the who's it suited to? Um, I think people who um, are looking for a really special trip. Um, you know, our reputation um, speaks for itself. We're very well known in um, the travel world for um, being um, extremely supportive on the ground and going the extra mile. So, um, you know, it could be um, a birthday trip, an anniversary, or even a honeymoon, um, or even just um, a once in a lifetime trip. And of course, for those who can, you know, traveling with Abercrombie and Kent on a yearly basis, um, just because they love the style of travel that they're going to be really looked after. Um, and, you know, it's all about stylish luxury. Um, and, you know, um, it can be quite casual as well um, or, or formal. It really depends on the client because um, we offer um, tailor-made itineraries as well as group itineraries as well. Yeah, I noticed one thing I think it's worth noting. I would be shocked if many people know about you guys. What's the reason behind that? Um, I think we um, quite like to be rather subtle um, and that sort of um, suits us really as a company as well. So we don't do a huge amount of advertising. We prefer a more personable approach. So um, I work very closely with um, uh, people like you, John, to um, really create beautiful itineraries for clients who are looking for something very special. Beautiful. Okay, I'm putting you back to your slides okay. now. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I hope I anyway. <laughs> that's that's the point. Um, so the other thing that's quite important to know about ANK is that we have grown from those humble beginnings in Africa, um, and we're now really um, quite a global business. So we have 52 offices worldwide, um, and um, we don't outsource. So all of those offices, um, they are run by locals, and um, they are Abercrombie and Kent staff, so they really understand our whole philosophy. Um, and um, so they look after our, cl our clients all over the world. 
Um, and that really makes a huge difference to the experiences that um, our travellers have. Um, you know, it's having that local support, um, specialist local guides. Um, we have meet and greet services, 24-7 concierge, uh, private transfers. And having local people on our team means that we can offer really special experiences. They know the best times to go to um, certain places and they can give you a really great insight about, you know, their lives and their families. Um, and you can get under the skin of the country a little bit more easily. Um, you know, also, you know, we do things we do. We don't do things like, well, actually, we avoid queues where possible. So, you know, we'll um, our connections on the ground will often mean that we can offer very lovely private excursions um, and access to places when the general public can't. And that really enhances the experience as well. I just, I'm just coming back to you quickly, Kate. I love, I love that comment that, that, that you were before, before we even asked. You loved what? Sorry, John. I just. I heard a bit of playback there. Just saying, I love that comment. You knew what we wanted before we even asked. That's great, isn't it? And and that's what it's all about. It's um, you know going that little bit that step further. So um, it could mean that you know. You might be in uh, Sri Lanka and have just climbed Sigiriya Lion Rock, which is an amazing experience. And um, when you get back to your driver and your vehicle, um, you know, they'll have a refreshing drink for you and some local fruit just to refresh you before you travel back to your, um, you know, the beautiful property that you're staying at. And it's just those little little things that make um, the trip, you know, extra special and a bit more, um, you know, sort of uh, personable, I suppose. Beautiful. Um, so the other thing is also, um, you know, they can also offer experiences that, uh, you know, might mean um, that you get to meet people like this chap who um, is, is a camel handler, um, you know, sort of get up, up close and personal. So really special experiences that other people don't get access to. Um, I should also mention that we do have quite a, um, a varied amount of products. So we do also offer private jet journeys as well. So this is one of the um, jets that we use for that. And we you know what trip wouldn't be complete with A&K without a sundowner uh, in the evening in a really spectacular location uh, with no other people, you know, just watching the sun setting in the evening. Um, that's a really lovely way to end the day. Um, the other thing about Abercrombie and Kent is that we really do have a journey for every traveller. So, um, you know, we talked about how um, the portfolio um, Abercrombie and Kent is quite varied. We have private itineraries plus our group itineraries as well. Um, and, you know, you might just travel with us for a long weekend um, before a cruise or en route to see family in Europe. Um, or you might travel with us for a month long safari experience to really, um, you know, experience the migration in Kenya and Tanzania. Um, we're very flexible and that's what it's all about, really. Um, but our group itineraries are very special, too. So um, we offer um, small groups, um, no more than 24, sometimes um, much less than that. They're all guaranteed as well. So you don't have to worry that they're going to get cancelled. And they really are very special. They're um, our private itineraries repackaged into um, a, a group experience, which is great for single travellers, but also those who want to travel with us on a slightly um, you know, um, lower budget, too. So it's a bit more accessible. So this is the portfolio at the moment. So we have our private tours, um, Africa, Arabia and Persia. Uh, we have our Europe uh, portfolio, India and the Orient, Latin America. We also have um, beautiful expeditionary cruises, um, domestic product here in Australia and in New Zealand as well. Um, our group portfolio consists of Connections Boutique. Um, and luxury small group journeys, which really is a five star plus, very special group experience. And then also hosted journeys, which have been really designed for people who don't want to just scratch the surface, that really want to, um, you know, sort of have an in-depth, um, get under the skin experience in some really special destinations. And, um, you know, these are really genuine, genuinely different itineraries. Um, we offer the Silk Road, Iran, Mongolia, um, and, you know, just a whole host of really amazing places that, um, you know, uh, are quite exciting. Um, so, as I mentioned, getting off the beaten track. 
Um, once in lifetime uh, experiences, you know, um, visiting festivals like Pushka, and um, we've got things like the Mong Mongolian Eagle Festival in Mongolia, um, you know, really different. Uh, there's a horse racing festival on the Tibetan Plateau um, included in our, um, our China itinerary, and, um, you know, lots of people won't have done that before, and there won't be very many tourists there. Um, active tours include um, walking tours in Italy. We also have um, Iceland, um, golfing trips to Tasmania. Um, so, you know, if you're an active and fit person, um, then we'll probably have um, some lovely itineraries for you as well. Um, nature and landscapes, well, you know, we're very fortunate that uh, we live in this beautiful world, um, and that's a, a glorious picture of Iceland. Um, Lots of destinations lend themselves very nicely to this type of trip, um, and we use the very best wildlife experts and geologists to really enhance those um, experiences. Um, that is a quick shot of um, uh, Laboreal, who um, is the Ponant ship that we sole charter in um, Antarctica. And we actually have two cruises there, um, expeditionary cruises, as well as one in um, the Arctic. Um, and um, uh, we also have a Japan cruise and some, you know, other bits and bobs. So um, lovely cruising product there. How many people we don't on take more than 200. Um, okay. That isn't f uh, at full capacity, but we do that on purpose to make it a little bit more of a, um, you know, special experience. So we only use the balcony suites. Um, and we also have some fantastic behind the scene moments, which I've mentioned already. Um, but for example, watching the ballerinas warm up at the Bolshoi, um, that is an experience that is truly unforgettable. Um, and then, you know, sitting down in your private box to watch the show afterwards um, is very special. Oh, how could we forget food? I think that's probably one of the most favorite things. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Yeah, um, so nice we've got some fantastic um, foodie itineraries and we've also teamed up with um, Gourmet Traveller, the magazine, um, to create some really wonderful itineraries, which include um, Jeff Jantz in Sri Lanka. Um, we've got Christine Manfield. Um, she is um, uh, hosting a trip to Cambodia. Um, and Vietnam. Um, also, Justine Schofield is hosting a Moroccan and Peruvian itinerary um, next year as well. So they're going to be wonderful itineraries where you can join like-minded people, go to the local markets, learn how to make, um, you know, uh, beautiful um, local delicacies, and um, you know, stay in some beautiful places, and um, you know, go and see the fishermen on the stilts in in uh, Gaul, that kind of thing. You know, so really. Um, really interesting um itineraries for that that sits within our hosted group journeys so group itineraries um, and special touches as well so um you know um we'll often have things like a traveling bellboy on luxury small group journeys um we also have a valet service halfway through the journey so you know you can have your shirts pressed, washed and pressed so that you don't have to take so much luggage. And um, it's all those little things that kind of, um, you know, count towards a very special experience. Oh yeah, and how can we forget Wi-Fi? Um, even in Africa um, with our Jeeps, we often have Wi-Fi available. Um, people, we understand the need for people to stay connected these days, you know, whether it or not it's business or family and friends, um, it's a very important part of travel these days. Also with social media, you know, like we're doing now, people like to put their pictures up on Facebook instantly or Instagram. Um, so, um, you know, we like to help and assist our, our clients to being well connected. And we have some beautiful documentation, which really serves as a fantastic, um, you know, sort of momentum, uh, memento of your journey with Abercrombie and Kent. Um, so you get a personalized itinerary and luggage um, tags and that come in this beautiful iPad sized case that you can take with you on your journey um, to keep everything together. Um, and John, I know that it's very important for um, you and your clients that, um, you know, travel um, with purpose <clears throat> uh, kind of goes hand in hand with Abercrombie and Kent's philanthropy uh, projects. So I thought you might like to know a little bit about that. 
So um, we've actually yes, been please. committed to conservation um, and supporting the communities that we um, travel through for over 40 years. And Abercrombie and Kent Philanthropy has really become a almost um, a sort of separate, completely separate side to Abercrombie and Kent, but a very important one. Um, we've also won multiple Condé Nast Traveller World Savers Awards um, because of it. Um, so it's all about health, education, conservation and enterprise. And some of the projects that we um, support include um, the community hospital and nursing school in the Bwindi Impenetrable, Impenetrable Forest. <laughs> that was a mouthful. Um, uh, in Uganda, um, we have mm -hmm. run a conservation pro uh, projects in Botswana, um, training colleges in Peru, um, Kenya tree planting, um, and also here in Australia, we support conservation efforts for the Great Barrier Reef and um, also the Tasmanian Devil Ark project. Um, there's also a, a kiwi breeding project in New Zealand. So um, there is a portion of um, cost that uh, from each trip that goes towards these projects. And it's also possible for um, our guests to get involved if they want to as well. So um, I just thought I'd show you a couple of images um, of our um, projects in action. Um, you know, it's a really wonderful way of giving back to the local communities that we visit. It's very important. Yeah, I, all, almost all companies that we deal with now, I mean, and I'll go as far as saying actually everybody, they have to be involved at a at a genuine level of this. This can't be just a tongue in cheek. Yeah, we're supporting something local. Absolutely. We investigate it thoroughly to satisfy ourselves that it does meet the criteria of not only helping local, but it is wanted and is needed and not only a small amount of people benefit from it. It's very important that that it's done with the right uh, execution and, and meaning. Otherwise, it just becomes a, yeah, look at us, we're, we're doing something you know, philanthropic, which is just a bit of a joke, really, with some businesses. But I do and like what you guys do, and it does mean a lot to us as a business. And most of our clients are, are really starting to pick up on it now because we're fortunate that we are, by world standards, very wealthy with a lot of abundance. And you know, we do want to give something back and make a difference in the world. And, and we can collectively do that through, you know, through our travel experience, which we're privileged to have and enjoy. And it's, and it's good that you know, companies like you guys, A and K, uh, are doing it in a, you know, an incredibly Thoughtful way Thank you. Um, I'm, level, I'm pretty so proud well of them as well. I've, and also, what's really important is they're all local and, and um, you know, Abercrombie and Kent have really kind of created their own projects in a way um, so that we can give back. And it's become a really, really big part of our business. Um, so, um, you know, it's, it's very important. And, you know, if you planted a tree in Kenya, um, we have people who've traveled with us and done that and then come back again five years uh, later to see the progress of um, the project and to reconnect. So, um, you know, that's also something that's quite special. Um, <laughs> I can speaking from personal experience when we were in uh, South America a number of years ago we helped get a school built uh, that couldn't be completed after about 10 years of frustration we raised the the money and physically went and helped with the construction of it and we went back uh, I think it was three or four years later and to see two more extra classrooms and a medical center added to it was just so so satisfying and uh what it had done for that village it meant that the kids didn't have to quit school at 12 years of age because they now had enough classrooms to uh, qualify from the peruvian government to uh, move in a high school teacher so yeah it's very very satisfying and i'm sure uh, a lot of people's lives have and been wonderful. impacted and, and one of the things that we that. really emphasize is that um for us um you know you take only photos leave only fit footprints we want our impact to the local communities the wildlife you know the nature to be as minimal as possible so um you know all of that goes hand in hand with our whole philosophy of travel so um and you know off the back of everything that we've talked about we have been very fortunate to be um you know uh, 
you know, rewarded with award-winning excellence and um, accolades. So I just thought I'd mention a couple. Um, you know, we don't really like blowing our own trumpet because we feel that all of these things should be part and parcel of, um, you know, the Abercrombie and Kent experience. But, um, you know, we have, you know, created our own beautiful portfolio of properties, um, including lodges and camps throughout um, East and Southern Africa. We have river cruise ships in Egypt. Um, we've got them in China and also a beautiful ship in Myanmar, which though, of which there's a picture just there. Um, and, um, you know, by creating that beautiful sort of portfolio, we have uh, been very fortunate to win, um, you know, sort of, the most luxurious safari camp in Africa, the Sunday Times, um, you know, have uh, have given us that accolade. Um, we've won World Travel Awards um, in uh, this year and previously as well for um, our gorilla camp, um, which is in a fantastic location. And often we get the gorilla um, troops coming through the camp, which is very exciting. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, you know, wow. um, yeah. it, it's a big world out there. And, um, you know, if you're really looking for something a bit special, then um, you might like to consider traveling with Abercrombie in Kent. And we would surely welcome your clients to come and experience, um, you know, what we're all about on the ground. Um, it's a very exciting and rather lovely way of traveling. <laughs> For sure. Okay. Um, Absolutely, yeah. I've just got so some beautiful images to, to sort of inspire now, everyone, everyone really. Um, and uh, but that's a kind of a very quick overview of what Abercrombie Good. and Kent are all about. Yeah, I think the images are, yeah, are stunning. You, know, you, you can see how close you are to the wildlife. And I guess, <coughs> you know, what what else made you different other than the fact that you know, you've been there a long time, which gives you a great uh, local knowledge thing? You you're uh, helping the locals and employing the locals, which I think is you know, significant because a lot of people will companies tend to bring in contractors and you know, like even I just talking to a, a young guy yesterday a couple of days ago. And I'd never met before, but he'd been away in Europe and he had an Australian guide. You know, sit there going. Phew. Why would you want an Australian <laughs> guide when question. you're in Europe? Surely <laughs> um, a local exactly would have. Why we don't? I mean, um, we you won't find any yeah. other, um, local guides um, or our drivers and tour directors to be, um, you know, from Australia, um, the UK, or America. Um, they will be English speaking. They will be experts. They're often, um, you know, award winning guides themselves. We try and use the very best of the best. Um, and we're able to do that because often they'll, they'll only work for us. We train them from the word go um, and they love working for us as well, which is great. So, um, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll often, even if they um, are um, freelance, they'll often only work for Abercrombie and Kent and just look after our clients, which I think is a great reflection of the business great now Kate um, I know that a big part that's of your right yeah we've got three um, Australia. globally one in the US one yeah, in okay. uh, the UK and here in Australia Can you just share just a little bit about Australia in terms of how that travel is? Because I know you do stuff yeah, around do. Margaret River, yeah. which is not all that far from where we are here. Uh, it's not it's not as good a, good a part of the world as we are in Albany, but you know I'll forgive them for that. So, um, can you just share a, a, maybe a, a, a classic or a typical Australian tour and what it might um, so look like? And we don't have any group tours here. We it? just specialise in private itineraries for our Australian travellers. Um, but we have a beautiful portfolio of itineraries that can be customised to your um, special requirements, as well as um, offering, um, you know, um, just uh, accommodation only in some of the beautiful luxury lodges of Australia and New Zealand as well. So things like Southern Ocean Lodge, um, the one and only properties. If you have someone who might like to um, go and spend, you know, sort of five nights in one of those properties, then we can certainly arrange that for you. Um, but um, 
our product is a little bit different in that we've been around for 35 years looking after visitors to um, Australia from uh, the UK and um, US. And so um, what we've done is we've really kind of recreated some of our best loved itineraries to be a bit more um, sort of, I guess, uh, interesting for an Australian based traveller. So you're not going to find, you know, sort of long weekends in Sydney with Abercrombie and Kent. Um, but you might have some self drive trips around, um, you know, some glamping experiences around, um, you know, the, New Zealand, or we've got, um, you know, some beautiful itineraries in the Kimberley, which, um, you know, include charter flights. Um, foodie trips in Tasmania, so they're all a little bit more active, um, but you get that wonderful support on um, the ground from Abercrombie and Kent. So, um, you know, insider access moments, uh, lovely properties to stay in, and that support from our team. So, um, and they can be completely customized our itinerary. So, if anyone's interested, I would urge them to come and visit your team or contact your team for a brochure or um, some of our itineraries, which are on our website. So are these uh, trips self-drive and uh, or are they, um, you know, higher? No, 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 uh, no, no touring. It's, coach um, girls, so they're self-drive. Um, they're not guided, but you have um, specialised local guides that meet you when you arrive at your destinations. Right, okay. So that's... Um, that's handy to know because it's you can control the pace of it. You're just using Abercrombie's against 35 years of experience and knowledge of helping people really discover what Australia is. And I think you know a lot of us are, are guilty of not even knowing our own backyard. I mean, it it takes a visitor to come into town for us to go and do something tourist-like because we uh, we forget it or we just don't appreciate well, it or even we don't even understand where to so, look for it. As you can it, tell. So, so um, um, you know, I think it's very exciting to be able to go and do things yeah. at a slightly slower pace. You don't, you know, if you're touring with, um, you know, a coach touring company or something like that, you have your, the pattern of the trips dictated by um, the people who are guiding you and the people you're traveling with. So if you want something that's, you know, slower paced, a little bit more suited to um, your interests and, you know, you might really love um, collecting gorgeous wine and want to go to the Barossa Valley. Um, we have a fantastic cycling trip, for example, where you go and visit um, a, a few different uh, vineyards and wineries um, and you can do that over a period of time that suits you rather than a, at a rushed pace. pace. And um, that's something that resonates throughout the whole of the sort of AK um, style of travel. You know, we do, we do like a slower patter. So, um, you know, it's definitely um, great for people who can afford the time um, to travel a little bit longer, um, you know, and try and spend a couple of nights in each destination so you're not rushed and you get to really experience um, you know, not only the destinations, but the beautiful properties that we choose, which are often boutique and, um, you know, really quite lovely. So thank you. Firstly, uh, I hope that people watching this get a deeper understanding of what an A&K experience is. And it is really the ultimate luxury travel experience. And while not suited for everybody, for those who do do it, obviously, it's the bee's knees, so to speak. Uh, appreciate you sharing. I look forward to diving into some of your particular specific products like the Antarctic cruise and uh, other different ones that you've got in full detail. So if anyone watching this has an interest in something specifically, then reach out, let us know which one it is with an email at the bottom and we will uh, look at customizing that and then letting you know. So again, Kate, appreciate you taking the time to do this. It's our first Fabulous. ever I've attempt. Really so let's it. see what comes out like, shall we?